Hello everyone, and welcome to Sony Simplified. I'm Matt from Sony, and today we're diving into the wonderful world of memory cards. But before we do that, let's get a little housekeeping out of the way. As always, I'm sure this isn't the first YouTube video you've watched, so if you could be so kind as to hit the like button, ring the notification bell, and tap the subscribe, we really do appreciate it. Now, let's dive into the chat, but I do have a quick question. What current memory cards are you guys using in your cameras? See if we have any responses here. There's nobody calling right now. Let me know if you want to make a call. All right. So no memory cards are being used in the camera. So how are we saving our photos? I don't know. We'll figure it out here together. So let's go into today's topics. We're going to go over types of memory cards, memory card speed explained, and then selecting the right memory card for you. So let's dive into the different types of memory cards. We have our E-Series, M-Series, and Tough G-Series. Now the benefit of these cards is that they range for different uses. So the E-Series is our foundational card. The benefit for that is that that's for the uh, casual camera user. Maybe someone who's bringing their camera out for a birthday party, a vacation. They're doing mostly photos or portraits and maybe uh, short clip videos. Our M series, kind of the jack of all trades, one of my favorite memory cards, is going to be great for that intermediate to hobbyist who really wants to be able to take first photos. They're going to be able to take um, 4K video, 1080p videos. That's a really ideal memory card for that. It's kind of a sweet spot for the memory card space, in my opinion. And then we have our Pro series and our most durable and most reliable cards, our tough cards with so the G series, tough ones. Now the benefit there is that we have multiple versions of the tough cards. We're going to dive into the CF Express here. Now the CF Express comes in two types. You have type A and type B, and they are designed for high-end pro level cards for fast burst shooting, high-res video. Now these are often used in our Sony Alpha cameras and our FX series cameras. We also have one other memory card, um, it's maybe not as known, but that is our XQD card. And this is ideal for continuous raw burst shooting to achieve full performance in extreme temperatures, intense UV light, and it's even safe to pass through the <laughs> airport x-ray machine. We all know how um, unguarded cards can get really kind of uh, messed up if you pass them through the wrong way. So as we go through all these cards, you've kind of gone through a few different ones that we've talked about so far. Let's check the chat and see if anyone has chimed in and what cards they're using. Of course, we have Ryan G. I own a uh, Alpha 7C. Awesome. And he uses a Tough G series card. I'm excited to talk about the Tough cards. I have some little bit going a little bit detail. How do you like it, Ryan? And then we have Samuel. He is using a Scandisk Extreme Pro V30. So let us know how you like that too. Read and write speed is awesome. Tough cards allow me to transfer images quickly. Yes, Ryan, I totally agree. And as we jump back into the Tough Series card, I'd like to go over some of the reasons it that it is so tough. It is IP57 rating, which has uncompromised rigidity for tough environments. If you think about it, um, it's going to be great for the fact that it's shockproof, benproof, benproof, excuse me, and it also has resistance to temperature, water resistance, and dust resistance. This is really uh, great for in like in the field photographers, maybe on the sidelines of a sports game, or maybe even in uh, harsh environments, the Antarctic or down in the sub-Saharan de desert. These are all different types where that tough card will shine. I know I have some colleagues up in uh, Alberta and I know it gets cold up there. So they could be using the tough card just in their regular winters because it can get below freezing um, quite often. And I just not, it's not the environment for me, but I'm glad they enjoy it. All right, so let's move on to the next topic, which is memory card speed explained. Now we're gonna use the uh, CF Express cards for a example. I wanna go through all the different points on what is on the front of the card so we can kind of explain what relates to speed versus what doesn't. We have the top portion, which is going to be, you know, your capacity. There's a wide range of capacities, but that doesn't have as much to do with speed, more as it's just to let you know how much storage is available on your card. Next up, you have your series, whether it be G, M, H, and this is just to help you differentiate between 
different type of cards and different type of use uses. We also have the VPG 400 and 200 on our CF Express Type A cards. Now that's really geared towards raw burst shooting. So you can, can line up based on your needs. But let's get into the read and write speed. Now the read speed is how fast you can upload that data to your device, whether it be um, video, if you have a higher read speed, you'll be able to upload it with less buffering time. It'll work great, smooth. And say you're doing burst photography or raw where there's tons of data, the higher speed will help you. Now, the write speed may be a bit as important or more important is how much data can you get from your camera to your card quickly. Now we're gonna go into uh, the CF Express Type A in a second to show you how that can really help in certain burst, uh, burst modes. But what I wanna talk about is combining both of these information with your type of photography. So let's go to the different types of cards and who I think they're for. And you know maybe you can step up or step down based on your needs. So we have the E-Series, again, it's that novice, that's someone who's taking out their camera for those short periods of time, that, but most of the time they're not using it frequently. The M-Series, that is that person who wants to carry their camera almost all the time. You know your friend who always has it with them. They love it, they're always taking photos, and they take some of the best portraits you know and you love having them around. The M-Series might be perfect for them. But then we can go to the Tough Series or the G-Series, which is going to give you a high level rewrite, read and write speed, but let's focus in on the CF Express and burst shooting and what it can do for you. So with the CF, uh, longer burst shooting versus a standard memory card, what you have is up to 1.4 times longer burst shooting. What does that mean for the pro photographer or anyone really, if you're doing nature or sports, doc, uh, sports docs or sideline shooting, that could be the difference between getting the perfect catch or just missing the ball hitting his hand or that initial grab. Or maybe it's the perfect dunk or the, a great white coming out of the ocean and you get it only come halfway coming out versus all the way out. And that's something where the extended burst shooting of the Type A CF Express can really be beneficial. Now, before we wrap up, I'd really like to check the chat and talk to everyone and see how they're doing. So let's see what we got going out here. Faster read speeds in eight. Ken Jones is in here. Hello, Ken. Cool, burst shooting, I like it. Um, which cards are? do you guys think that you are more interested in now that we've talked a little bit about each one? I know that I'm more interested in tough cards. That's just something I hadn't been, hadn't been on my radar before I did, did a little bit more research into this topic. And I'm very excited to use some of those in the future. So let's kind of wrap it up. Let's go over what we've talked about. Hey, from California. Hello, California. I'm on the East Coast. I'm in New Hampshire right now. So it's a little cold and the leaves are changing. It's beautiful. So perfect time for photography up here. So the recap, the type of memory cards, we went from E to G and all in between up to our uh, XQD cards. And then we also went to type of memory cards speed explained and then selecting the right memory card for you and your type of photography and videography. I hope that that really helped to just get the little bit of the basics and you can definitely check out sony.com for more information. Now we do have some upcoming videos and future topics so I'm really excited. We have how to transfer your videos, how to compose the perfect video, the A7, I mean the Alpha 7 IV shooting and drive modes, I'm really excited for the Alpha 7 IV because I have the Alpha 7 III and it is um, time for me to update and I'm really looking forward to getting that new body. And then maybe there's another topic you want us to cover. Feel free to drop that in the chat and we'd be happy to craft a video, uh, another seminar explaining what you'd like to hear. All right, and one more topic, don't forget to register your products at sony.com. It is super important, it helps you activate your warranty and then also get the most up-to-date uh, software updates, keeping your products at peak performance for years to come. I would like to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. We do appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next seminar. I'm Matt from Sony. Have a wonderful day.